Hey guys! So I'm just doing this really lovely and soft Valentine's makeup for you guys. It ties in the reds and the pinks of Valentine's Day without being super bold or super overdone. Um, so if you're interested in this look, keep on watching. Alright, to start off, I'm just going to prime my eyelids with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Champagne. And this is a really nice um, eyeshadow base because it does, as you can see, have a lot of shimmer to it. And for the look we're going to be going for, it'll help keep the shimmers that we add on top a lot more vibrant and reduce some of the fallout. And also this just gives like a really nice highlight to the overall eye. So make sure you sweep it under your brow bone, in the inner corner, and all over the lid. That's in the shade Vanish. So we're just going to take that on our fluffy brush. This is just nice light brown and you really don't need too much. We're just going to work that through the crease and that will serve as our transitional color for this eye look. Alright, so we're just going to also sweep a tiny bit of that underneath the eye and that will just give a little bit more dimension to this look so it's not all top heavy. So we're first going to go in with a golder pink shadow called Trick. We're just going to brush that with the same fluffy brush all over the eye. And that adds just a tiny bit of color and a bit of gold and softens this up while still having a nice dramatic shimmer. And then you're going to go in with the shadow Limit, which is just kind of a pinky taupe brown. And I'm going to work that in the outer crease. And we already have our crease color, so we don't need a ton of this. This is just to add a bit more dimension. With the flat side of the brush, you can also go in with this color just on the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then drag it in just the tiniest bit. You can see that just adds like a nice little shadow there. We're going to go in with like a darker version of this color called Nooner. We're just going to finish off with some inner corner highlight. So I'm going to go in with the color um, Strange. And that's just a matte, light pink, whitish eyeshadow and we're just gonna oops we're just gonna dust that in the inner corner careful of getting it in your eyebrows so I'm actually using a lip product for this eyeliner and this is a Kat Von D lip liquid lipstick in the shade Vampira and this is like a matte mattifying lipstick once you put it on it dries and it will stay in place and so I figured if it works on the lips so well it might as well work on the eyes and so what you're gonna do you're gonna take a angle brush and you're just gonna dip the tiniest amount of product off the doe foot applicator and you're just going to get a tiny, tiny bit because this is very, well not, this is not very user friendly. It's hard to apply this and get it right the first time because if you mess up, it's hard to take it off and you'll end up taking some of our eyeshadow off and don't want that. So you're just going to take this and you're going to very, very lightly just start lining your eyes and how bold you want this um, liner to be is up to you. If you just want a simple line, that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna go for a bit more of a medium-sized cat eye. So you're just gonna line it. I generally don't line as thickly in the inner corner, but since this is a more dramatic look, I think I will. Alright, 
so I think I'm going to stop there. I'm pretty happy with how that is, and it's not the perfect line, but when you're using a lip product as an eyeliner, it is much harder. So you need to let that dry before you um, open your eye all the way, because this does take a little bit more time than a liquid liner would. So you need to wait for it to mattify, and then you can open your eyes all the way. So now that the top liner is done, we're just going to take whatever was left on our angle brush and you just want to run that on the inner corner of the eye and you don't want too much because otherwise your eye will look irritated, but just that little pop of color would make a lot of difference and you'd be surprised how much that really does show up. And especially if you have blue eyes, this is going to really make your eyes stand out as red and blue are complementary colors, or contrasting colors, sorry. And so one makes the other stand out more. And so with the pink shadows, the pink tone shadows, and the bright like maroon eyeliner, this will make blue and green eyes really vibrant. So now we're just going to finish off with mascara. And you can curl your lashes if you'd like. I don't usually prefer to, just because I like the natural shape of mine. And I'm going out on with the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And this is actually a new mascara that I just recently got. And I'm really loving it. Because I don't like a ton of volume on my lashes, but I like them nice and long and defined. And I find that's exactly what this mascara is good for. It has like really tiny little bristles. Bristles, sorry. And it really gets in between the lashes and separates them and coats them. I don't recommend wearing um, false lashes for this look, only because we have such a bold eyeliner that the lashes would just kind of cover it up. But if you like to, if you feel like you don't have enough lashes or you just want that extra added drama, you can totally do that. It's really just personal preference. So there's the eye done. It's just really simple. This is quite um, easy for beginners if you kind of give or take the eyeliner. Um, it's just a very neutral but shimmery and glamorous eyeshadow and the lashes with the liner just really kind of finishes off the look. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the face. So I actually already have foundation and everything on and a little bit of contour, but that's it. To get that nice um, warm glow that we want for a Valentine's Day look, just to make it nice and sweet and soft, I'm actually going in with a Wet n Wild product, and this is their, from their Fergie collection, and this is a highlighter called Rose Champagne Glow. And it's kind of a knockoff of the um, MAC uh, finishing powders, but I find that it works incredibly well as like a highlighting blush. So I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush. Fluffy brush, sorry. Um, just kind of pack it on because it's not super pigmented. It is like a five dollar product but totally worth it. And then I'm just gonna kind of focus that on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of bring it down on my cheekbones. Since I use this more as a blush and rather than a highlight, I don't bring it like all the way across like I would with like a matte highlight or anything like that. But I don't know if you can see, but it just gives just a lovely soft sheen to my skin and just a tiny, tiny bit more of color. So the camera doesn't pick it up too well, but it does just give my skin a really nice peachy pink glow. But to add a little bit more to that, I'm going back in with my Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to use the shade Limit, which is like that pink taupey brown, and I'm using this in between my contour and my highlight, just on the outer edges of my skin. almost using this as like a bronzer just because I um, have trouble finding a bronzer that doesn't look orange on me um, 
because my skin is so pale, I need like a cooler tone bronzer and they just don't make a lot of those. And so when I come along in eyeshadow that just works really well as a contour or a blush or anything like that, um, even if it's not intended for that purpose, like the transition color I used earlier from the Kat Von D, the Vanish, I actually have used that to contour my skin because it's a nice light cool toned brown and that's just really hard to come by for like contouring and since I love contour so much it's just like impossible and really frustrating to find something that works so I love when I have an eyeshadow like that. So that kind of finishes off for the face. Just the last finishing touches is going to be the lips. I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay. Um, and the camera makes this look much pinker than it is. It's much more of a mauve color. And this is in the color Preview 070. And these things, like, you put them on and they stay a long time. They're kind of like liquid lipsticks in like they last a long time, but they're not as pigmented. And so I'm just going to add a bit of that, focusing it on the inner part of my lip because that's where my lips kind of get really pale. Alright, so there's our nice pink lip. And these dry kind of to a satin suede finish. So I'm going to go over that with my Avon no, sorry, Alame um, lip gloss, and this is in the shade Rosy Lipped. And I'm just going to apply that in the very center of my lips to add a little more gloss to the look. Alright, so here's the finished look. It's just a very neutral, soft, but still kind of glamorous makeup. They have the nice shimmery and like pink and red eyes, but it's not too overdone. And then just soft facial features, soft lip, and also this works really great with glasses because that red liner will show through with it. And so I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you consider wearing it for Valentine's Day or just any day really. If you want a bit more pink, a little more girly makeup, like, comment, subscribe, and have a beautiful day. Bye lovelies!